Welcome to your morning class. This is a short 20 minute yoga flow that you can do to get your day started. You won't need any props for this practice as long as you're familiar with the style of yoga. We're going to begin in a standing position so whenever you're ready take your time to arrive. Just take a moment to settle your feet. You might like to close your eyes down, bring a little bend to your knees. Anchor in through the soles of your feet and see if you can start to visualize energy drawing up through your legs towards the crown of your head. We're going to take a grounding breath here, nice slow deep breath in. And then a full deep breath out. One more like this, nice slow deep breath in. And then a full deep breath out. You're just going to start to sway side to side now. So bringing a little bend to your knees, allowing your arms to move with the direction of your hips. If you like, you can pick up the speed, just find a little more rocking as you move side to side. Connecting in with your breath, feeling any energy that might start to circulate through this gentle movement. Taking a couple more moments here. And then just slowly starting to wind down, coming back to a standing position. From here, we're going to take a few rounds of our breath of joy. If you're not familiar with this breath technique, you bring your arms up on an inhale. Inhale, bring the arms out and then up again. And then as you exhale, you bend your knees and let the breath out. We're going to take a few rounds like this together. So it's a three part inhale through the nose with the arms and then exhale through the mouth. <laughs> your standing position taking a moment to close down your eyes and just settling into any sensations that you might be feeling now once you feel ready to move you're going to start to inhale bring your arms up and overhead you're going to grab onto one wrist bring a little bend to your knees and then pull over to one side so feeling a lengthening through your side body as you inhale you'll come up switch hands and then lean to the other side Gentle stretch here into the side body and then slowly come up. Now as your arms come back up, imagine that you're reaching for a bar. As you inhale, pull your arms down to lift your heart to the sky and then exhale, release. Inhale, pull, find a little tension as you draw your heart to the sky. Exhale, release. Inhale to lengthen the heart up and then exhale, release. As you feel ready, bring yourself to the top of the mat. Ground down through the feet, little bend of the knees, inhale, arms to the sky, exhale, forward fold. Drop your head and let gravity take the weight of your spine. Now in your forward fold, just start to bring a little sway so you can keep your hands on the floor or you can grab onto your elbows, just allowing your spine to move side to side, finding a sense of fluidity, maybe releasing the hands and rolling the fingertips just above the mat. Keeping this way, you're going to start to straighten the spine up to the sky and then allow your arms to float. And then as you exhale, riding the breath down, forward fold once again. And then looking for this sway, keep the knees bent, start to sway your arms and roll your spine up once again. Arms lift all the way up and then exhale to fold. Last one. Finding a gentle sway, feeling the movement of your spine and your arms, a sense of fluidity as you move, bringing your arms all the way up and then exhale to fold. From here, as you inhale, you're going to cactus your arms, lift your heart, draw your tailbone back and then fold once again. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold. Inhale to lift and then exhale to fold, slowly stepping back towards your downward facing dog. Once you arrive, just take some time in this shape. So pedal through your feet, drawing one heel up and then the other. So we're gonna to begin to move towards our side dog. 
So you're gonna keep a bend of your knees, shift your eye gaze forward so your heart is parallel to the mat and then lift your heels and then drop them over to the right as you draw your tailbone towards your feet, bring all of the strength into your legs. Keep your eye gaze between your thumbs and then inhale through center, drop your heels to the left, bend the knees generously, draw your tailbone towards your heels, keep your eye gaze towards your thumbs. And then as you feel ready, just take a couple more on either side, making sure that you keep the knees bent, bringing all the weight back towards the feet, so off of the shoulders and the hands, while keeping your eye gaze towards your thumbs. As you feel ready, settle back into your downward facing dog and then shift your weight forward towards a high plank. Option to lower your knees, we're gonna roll all the way down onto our bellies. From your belly, tuck your toes, push into your hands, glide back towards a tabletop position. From here, you can start to sway your hips from side to side, just bringing a little bit of movement into your spine, exploring the sensations of the side body as you feel the movement of the hips. Now start to let your hips glide back. We're gonna find a few rounds of our waving cat cow. So as you feel ready, round your shoulders forward, and then as you reach the top, sink your belly, glide the hip bones back. Inhale, tuck the chin, round the heart forward. Exhale, sink the belly, glide the tailbone all the way back. If you want, you can explore a little bit of movement with the spine. So continuing with this kind of waving cat-cow, but just allowing the hips to move wherever they feel inclined. And then as you feel ready, you're gonna sit back towards your heels, toes remain tucked. You're gonna bring your hands in front of your heart you're going to start to lean your torso forward and then you're going to pull your knees apart. So you really want to feel the activation of your outer glutes as you pull your knees away from one another. And then keeping all of this, you're going to start to find a gentle pulse. So lifting up and then lowering down to feel the widening of your sit bones. Now you can stay here as you feel ready on your next in-breath, rise onto the knees, pull the arms apart, lift your heart to the sky, find a little resistance and then as you exhale, come back down. Find a gentle pulse, keep the knees pulling away from one another. Inhale, pull the arms apart as you lift up. Exhale, lower down, gentle pulse. One last inhale, feel the knees pull apart. Use the buoyancy of your heart to lift up, arms pull. And then exhale, come down. Tailbow reaches back, arms reach forward. Little resistance as you lower down. Slowly roll your shoulders over your wrists. And then as you exhale, glide back, down dog. Take a nice slow breath in. Full breath out. And as you feel ready, journey to the top of your mat, find a forward fold. On your next in breath, cactus your arms, lift your heart, draw your tailbone back, and then exhale to fold. Inhale to lift, slowly roll your spine to the sky, send your arms up. And then as you exhale, forward fold, riding the breath all the way down. As you inhale, lift your heart, cactus your arms, draw your tailbone back. And as you exhale, plant your hands, step back, down dog. From here, ripple forward, high plank. Option to lower your knees onto the mat as you lower onto your belly. Tuck your toes, push into your hands, glide all the way back to sit onto your heels. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Pull your knees away from one another as you lean your chest forward and start to find a pulse. As you inhale, pull your arms apart, lift your heart to the sky. And then as you exhale, tailbone back, arms reach forward, drop the crown of your head down. Bring your shoulders over your wrists as you ripple forward and then slowly glide back towards your downward facing dog. From here, journey towards the top of the mat. Forward fold, drop the crown of your head. As you inhale, lift your heart, float your arms, draw your tailbone back and then exhale to fold. Inhale, roll your spine up, send your arms to the sky. And then exhale, forward fold, little bend of the knees as you drop the crown of your head down, release through your spine. Inhale, float your arms, lift your heart. And then exhale, plant your hands, step back towards your downward facing dog. As you inhale, ripple forward, find a high plank, option to lower your knees down. And then lower onto your belly. Tuck your toes, push into your hands, glide back to sit onto your heels. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Knees pull apart as you lean your chest forward and start to find a pulse, feeling the activation of your outer glutes. On your next in-breath, draw your arms up. Pull them apart as you lift your heart to the sky. And then as you exhale, tailbone back, arms reach forward, crown of the head drops down. Inhale, ripple forward, shoulders over the wrists. And then as you exhale, glide back, down dog. 
Once you arrive, take a moment to settle into your breath, finding a nice slow deep breath in, and then a full deep breath out. Then on your next in breath, start to float your right leg high. You're going to slowly come high into the ball of your left foot. You're going to draw your knee towards your nose. And then as you feel ready, step your foot between your thumbs at the top of the mat. Lower your back knee down. And just to begin, keep your fingertips on the mat. Stay here in stillness, or if it feels okay, you can start to find a little bit of movement. So just gliding the hips back and forth, back and forth, just to create a little bit of space. And then as you feel ready, you're going to start to inhale your arms all the way up, finding your low lunge. Taking a moment here to ground down, feel the lengthening of the spine, send energy up through your fingertips. Now if you like, you can stay here, or in your next in-breath, you're going to find tension through your hands, you're going to pull your arms down, lift your heart to the sky, and then exhale to release. Inhale, find the tension, the resistance as you draw your heart up, pull your arms down, and then exhale to release. Inhale to pull, lift the heart to the sky, and then exhale to release. Then bring your hands down towards the mat, frame your front foot, and then glide your back hips back to find a half splits. Walk your hands so that they're underneath your shoulders. Keep your leg loose to begin, and then find a gentle roll from side to side. Take a moment here to feel into the back of the leg, and then as you find your next in-breath, lift your heart, and then as you exhale, fold down towards your leg. As you feel ready, re-bend into your front knee, plant your hands, tuck your back toes, pick up your back knee, and then pivot to the long edge of your mat to find a wide-legged forward fold. Now, as you settle into your wide-legged forward fold, you might like to bring a little bit of movement into this shape. So a little bend of the knees, rocking your weight side to side, just feeling into the back of your legs. Just working with your breath and then noticing how this shape feels for you today. As you feel ready on your next inhale, lift your spine, draw your tailbone back, and then exhale, find a fold. Then use your hands to support you, bring your heels in, point your toes out, bend into your knees, bring a gentle lift of your heart, and then just start to sway your arms. So run your fingertips over the top of your mat and allow your arms to sway side to side. And then keep the sway and start to bring your spine up, rocking your weight from leg to leg, arms come out into a T. So a variation of our goddess pose, keeping a softness to the shape. As you inhale, bring your arms to the sky, straighten your legs, bring your hands to prayer. Then point your right foot to the top of the mat and then align your feet towards your warrior two. Take a moment to settle here, feeling into the shape. And then as you inhale, straighten your front legs, send your arms to the sky and then exhale, warrior two. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. And then exhale to lower. Inhale to lift up. And then exhale to lower. Circle your back arm towards the top of your mat. And then bring your right arm to the sky. And then as you feel ready, slowly plant your hand and then step back towards your downward facing dog. When you're ready, start to ripple forward towards a high plank. Once again, option to lower your knees onto the mat and then lower onto your belly. Tuck your toes, push into your hands, glide back to sit onto your heels, bring your hands in front of your heart. Pull your knees apart, lift your chest forward and then start to find a bounce, feeling the activation of your outer glutes. On your next inhale, rise onto the knees, draw the arms apart, lift your heart to the sky. And then as you exhale, tailbone back, arms reach forward, crown of the hand lowers down. Then start to ripple forward, shoulders over the wrists and then glide back towards your downward facing dog. Take a moment here, nice slow breath in, full breath out. Then inhale, left leg to the sky, come high onto the ball of your right foot, draw your left knee in towards your chest and then step your foot to the top of the mat. Lower your back knee down onto the mat, keep your fingertips framing your front foot and then find your runner's lunge. Once again, with a little bit of movement if you like, or stillness, just rocking the hips back and forth to create space. On your next in-breath, bring your arms up to the sky, find your low lunge, an activation through the front toes as you send energy up through the crown towards your fingertips. Stay here on your next in-breath, reach for the sky, find tension through the hands, and then slowly pull your arms down as you arc your heart to the sky. As you exhale, release. 
and how pull lift the heart find the resistance through your arms and then exhale to release inhale pull and lift to the sky and then exhale let it go bring your hands down to frame your front foot send your hips back when your half splits keep the front leg soft to begin and then just roll your foot from side to side to find a little sensation through the back of the leg and as you start to find your next inhale lift your heart draw your tailbone back and then as you exhale fold over your thigh As you feel ready, re-bend into your front knee. Frame your front foot with your fingers. Tuck your back toes, pick up your back knee and then pivot to the long edge of your mat, finding your wide-legged forward fold. You might like to explore some movement, bringing a little bend to your knees, just rocking your weight side to side, only if it feels all right. Letting your body move in a way that feels organic and natural, creating space through the hips. And then as you feel ready, use your hands to support you. Bring your heels and toes out. Shorten your stance a little bit. Lift your heart and start to find your sway. So allowing your arms just to sway gently above the mat and rocking your weight side to side, keeping the sway and then starting to roll the spine up. So once again, finding our goddess pose, arms come out to a T, letting the shape be strong on the inside but soft at the edges. On your next inhale, bring your arms to the sky. And then as you exhale, you're going to align towards your warrior two. So bending into your left knee and then starting to tee your arms. Eye gaze over your front middle finger. Inhale, straighten your front legs and your arms up. And then exhale, sink back down. Inhale to lift up, eye gaze follows. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to lower. Circle your back arm forward. Take your left arm up to the sky and then slowly plant your hand and step back towards your downward facing dog. Now ripple forward high plank and then lower onto your belly. Tuck your toes, push into your hands, glide back to sit onto your heels, hands in front of your heart. Lean your chest forward, pull your knees apart. Feel the widening of your glutes as you start to bounce. On your next in breath, draw your heart up to the sky, find resistance through the arms as you pull them apart. And then as you exhale, draw your tailbone back, reach your arms forward and then slowly glide yourself back towards your downward facing dog. Take a nice slow deep breath in and then a full deep breath out. As you feel ready, you're gonna journey yourself towards the top of your mat, finding your forward fold. As you inhale, lift your heart, cactus your arms, draw your tailbone back and then exhale to fold. On your next breath, roll your spine up to the sky, send your arms up, and then exhale, hands to prayer in front of your heart. Take a moment here just to feel, noticing the energy that's moving through your body, giving space to your breath. So from here, we're going to explore a shape called a vortex chair. So to find this position, you need to bring your feet about hip distance. Your feet are slightly pigeon-toed. You're going to bend your knees and then you're going to reach your tailbone back. So you really want to widen the sit bones, feeling a lengthening of your hamstrings. So knees forward, tailbone back. Then keeping all of this, you're going to start to lift your inner ankles. So activating the deep core line. And then while you do this, you're going to draw your low belly into the back of your heart. Bring your shoulders up towards your ears. Feel your outer hips wrap in. You pull your feet away from one another. So feeling this activation of the legs, drawing the heart up shoulders towards the ears and then starting to find a pulse so making sure that the knees are staying in the same direction keeping the activation there's a widening of your glutes low belly pulls into the back of your heart so feeling the strength of your legs and then bringing all of your weight into your right side draw your left knee in towards your chest and then slowly stepping your left foot to the back of your mat finding a high lunge so you want to focus on keeping a bend through the back knee, arms are in front of your heart to begin, finding a little pulse, lifting the shoulder blades up towards the ears. Now you can stay here or as you feel ready, bring your arms up towards the sky. On your next in breath, find tension through your hands, pull your arms down, lift your heart up, exhale to release. Inhale, find the resistance, draw your heart up to the sky as you pull your arms down and then exhale to release. Inhale to lift, 
exhale to release. Bring your hands to frame your front foot. You're gonna start to float your left leg up into the air, finding a soft standing splits as you drop the crown of your head down. And then as you feel ready, you're gonna start to draw your left knee in towards your chest. You're gonna rise all the way up to stand. Left knee draws in. And then as you exhale, plant your foot, find your vortex chair once again. So wrapping your outer hips in, finding a pulse, and then starting to bring all of your weight into the left leg to bring your right knee up towards your chest. Then slowly step your right foot to the back of the mat, finding a control landing. Little bend of your back knee, hands are in front of your heart. And then once again, we wanna find that pulse. So feeling your outer hip wrap in, strength through your legs, staying here or bringing your arms to the sky. As you inhale, find tension, draw the arms down as you lift your heart up and then exhale, release. Inhale to pull, exhale to release. Inhale to pull. And then as you exhale, lower your hands down in front of your left foot, float your right leg to the sky, find a soft standing split. So keep softness through the legs, let gravity take the weight of your head down. And then as you feel ready, you're gonna draw your right knee up towards your chest as you begin to rise and then bring your right foot down. Once again, find your vortex chair. Wrap your outer hips in, pull your feet away from one another. Kneecaps forward, tailbone back, low belly into the back of your heart. And then as you inhale, straighten your legs, lift your heart to the sky, cactus your arms. And then as you exhale, forward fold. Walk your feet in towards one another. Find a little sway. And then as you inhale, lift the heart, cactus your arms, and then exhale, fold. Step back towards your downward facing dog. And then ripple forward towards a high plank. Come onto your belly. Tuck your toes, push into your hands, glide back to sit onto your heels. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Draw your knees away, lean your chest forward, find a pulse, feel the widening of your sit bones. As you inhale, come up, pull your arms apart, lift your heart to the sky. And then as you exhale, come back. Arms come forward, untuck your toes, and then bring your head down towards your child's pose. So as you arrive here, just give yourself some time to connect back into your breath. Starting to find a nice, slow, deep breath in. And then a full deep breath out. Letting the weight of your heart drop down towards the earth. Releasing any tension that you might be holding onto through your face and your jaw. Allowing your shoulders to become nice and heavy. And just once again, giving space to your breath. And as you feel ready to move, you're gonna slowly take your time to come out of your child's pose up onto your sit bones. As you come onto your sit bones, bring your legs forward. You're going to start with your left leg straight, bending your right knee, bringing the foot inside of the left thigh. You're going to place your left hand inside of your left leg. And then you're just going to curl yourself into the cave of your heart, rounding through the spine, keeping your eye gaze down. Now with your right arm, you're going to start to bring movement from the shoulder and then allowing it to ripple to the elbow, to the wrist as you reach your hand towards your foot. And then slowly allowing the arm to slide back. Once again, we're working to invoke this sense of fluidity. So just allow your arm to move back and forth. Keep the rounding of the spine to work the myofascia that runs through the back body. Keep the breath nice and steady as you move. Now, as you bring your hand towards your foot and you take your next inhale, you're going to slowly windmill the arm up towards the sky to bring the spine up. Noticing the sensations as you bring the head up. And then as you feel ready, we're going to switch to the other side. So extending your opposite leg, bending your opposite knee, bringing your right arm inside of your right leg, curling yourself into the cave of your heart, dropping the crown of your head down and then allowing the movement to begin from your left shoulder 
rippling out towards the elbow and then the hand as you reach it towards your foot. And then once again, you're just going to find this gentle flossing action. So reaching your arm forward, keeping the rounding of your spine as your head drops down and then slowly gliding your arm back. Thinking of your arm as like a little piece of seaweed, just rolling about the current within the vastness of the ocean, feeling this sense of fluidity and grace. And the next time that you bring your hand towards your foot, you're once again going to use your in-breath to windmill the arm up and over so that your spine can lift up. As you come up, take a moment to notice your breath. And then slowly bring yourself into a seated position. As you find your seat and you allow yourself to become comfortable, Place your hands onto your thighs and then just close your eyes. Start to find a nice slow deep breath in and then a full deep breath out. One more like this, nice slow deep breath in and then a full deep breath out. Just giving yourself a couple of moments just to settle back into your natural rhythm of breath. Becoming aware of any sort of sensations that might be sitting with you today. Noticing the energy within your body. Giving space and allowing any emotions to arise up to the surface. And if you feel called to taking a moment to cultivate an intention for your day. Becoming clear as to what you would like to honor within yourself as you move forward. Allowing your intention to grow within the fertile soil of your heart. Using your awareness to water the intention so that it may grow deep roots into your being and ripple out into your day. As you feel ready, we're going to slowly close off our practice with the breath cycle. So just starting to take a nice slow deep breath in. And then a full deep breath out. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice. I hope you have a beautiful day.